I have played my Nintendo Switch quite a lot over the last few years. I've racked up a ton of hours, as this little device has become my main go-to system for gaming. Of course, I have other consoles, but 90% of the time, at least for this moment in time, I'm gaming on the Switch. So I figured it would be fun to go over what games have been my most played on the console. One of the Switch's neat features is it keeps track of how long you play your games on your account. So with that info, I have gathered my top 10 most played Switch games. Some of these games have been pretty eye-opening considering the hours played, so this should make for a fun video. For those watching, feel free to post your top 10 most played Switch games in the comments down below. I'm curious to see the comparisons to my list to see how different or similar they might be. So without any further ado, hang on, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and let's dive into the list of what my top 10 most played Switch games are. <laughs> In the number 10 slot, I have a game that isn't too surprising to see among my top 10 most played games, and that is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I mean, for many, back when the Switch first came out, it was the Switch killer app. It's my first Switch game, at least from what I remember, and it was the one I played the most early on. At the moment, my Switch says 70 hours, which for some, that might actually be quite low. There's so much to do in this game beyond the defeating of Ganon, so many nooks and crannies to explore and things to collect, that I can see people go well beyond 100 hours playing this game. It's one of my favorite Switch games, and it set the standard of what was to come for the Switch. Now, is it my favorite Zelda game? Well, I've always said, depending on how I'm feeling that day, go between this or Wind Waker. What's your favorite Zelda game? Let me know in the comments. In the number 9 spot, I have a game that is a bit of a surprise to me. Not because the game isn't worthy of being in my top 10 most played games list, it's just one I didn't expect to already have sunk 75 plus hours into it. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is quite good, I love the energy this game brings, the excitement, and of course I love all the Monster Hunter series elements working in a JRPG setting. It is a great game and one of my top 10 Switch games of 2021 for good reason. I still have quite a lot to do in this game, especially in regards to the free updates. So eventually I'll be getting back to this one, and the hours should increase for this game. So there's a topic that I'm going to be going back to quite a bit during this video. And that very topic is that I used to stream on Twitch. My very first Switch game on Twitch was Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I mainly did some shiny hunts and whatnot, stuff you usually expect when streaming Pokemon. So it's no surprise to see this at 80 hours played. I liked the Let's Go games, they were rather chill, different style from traditional Pokemon games, and the game itself looks rather pretty on the Switch. Of those who like Pokemon that are watching the video, would you like to see a new Let's Go game? Let me know if you would or would not want to see another one in the comments. So Shining Pearl is in my number 7 spot, huh? This is a game I do not expect to see climb that many more in hours, mainly because I have everything obtainable in the game outside of a few mythicals. I mean, Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond are alright. They aren't bad. They do have some flaws. But I feel like this climbed so high because I was in a completionist mindset and wanted to knock this out for the next game on this list. And the next game is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This one is no surprise. I love this game. The new mechanics are a breath of fresh air and has really kept me playing this title. When I did my review a few months ago, I was already above 100 hours. Just love the catching, the shining hunting. It's a blast and would love to see more Pokemon games in this style. At 120 plus hours, I expect this one to continue to climb in hours. So every now and then, I break this game out to chill and see if I can catch a shiny. In fact, out of all the Pokemon games on this list, this is probably the only one I'll be going back to anytime soon. Oh, and for those keeping count, yeah, that's three Pokemon games in a row. That is some craziness. Alright, enough with the Pokemon nonsense. Time for my number 5 slot in my most played Switch games, and that is Asphalt Legends 9. This is my number 1 most played free to play game on the Switch. Playtime is at 155 hours and climbing. I love racing games, especially arcade racers, and this one is actually one of the older titles on the list. It came out a while back, I want to say 2018, maybe early 2019, and this is a game that I go back to in spirits. It's a great free to play game. Under Race looks nice on the Switch, and there's always something to do in this game, which is a boon for any free to play game. Just be wary of those microtransactions, some of them are bonkers, and you don't want to fall into the trap of spending lots of major money on this game. Alright, I'm going to be sad for a moment and reminisce. 
Super Mario 35 was my addiction. The fact that this is no longer around is a crime. 160 hours or so in this game, it was my comfort game on the Switch. I was so good at the game, I had 270 wins before it was all done, and I could easily rack up 9, 10, 11 plus wins in a row in this game. This needs to come back. Look Nintendo, you could monetize it, I would buy it, many others would. Bring it back, please. I used to play this almost daily, at least for a half hour, sometimes for longer sessions, and it was always fun to play. At the number 3 spot is my number 1 game of 2021, and one I still play regularly, Monster Hunter Rise. 300 plus hours, and when the expansion comes, this is going to rise to a much higher count. Such a fantastic action multiplayer game for the Switch. I love teaming up with people and bashing some monsters. I just love the gameplay in this one. It is a much faster game than previous Monster Hunter games, and that is great. Currently, I'm helping peeps in my Discord get prepared for the expansion, so that can partly explain why the numbers are so high. Oh, and the fact I used to stream it regularly too on Twitch. Yeah, that's going to boost the numbers. With the new updates coming, I could see this easily becoming double the current playtime. At the number 2 spot, I have the last Pokemon game on the list, Pokemon Shield. Now this number might make a few people's eyes pop out, but trust me, I can explain. Over 950 hours. Yep, you heard right, 950 hours. I know, insanity. So this is so high, mainly for one reason, Twitch. Again, we're going back to that topic I mentioned earlier in the video. I used to stream this on the regular, and this was one that viewers requested for me to stream quite often, so it just added up. Stream this four or five days a week, and it just climbs and climbs and climbs and hours played. And that is really the only reason why this is so high up. If I never streamed on Twitch, it wouldn't have been close. I mean, I do like Pokemon Shield. I love the multiplayer, specifically all the co-op stuff with all the dungeons, which was the majority of my playtime. But I'll be real with you, this ain't climbing that much higher. I've done my time with Pokemon Shield, and that's okay. It's time to move on. So at 950 hours, you'd think that would be my most played game, huh? Well, that isn't the case. I beat that, easily, with Animal Crossing New Horizons. Again, this one is really high because of Twitch, and streaming it pretty much exclusively for a few months bumped that count up. That aside, I really do like the game. It speaks to my creative and design side. I love creating my island, so much that I did it twice over, and just chilling with the game has been great. Look, 2020 was a hard year, and I think for many, this game saved us. How many hours do I have in this game? Over 1,300 hours. I do not regret it. I love every second of it, and still do boot up the game every now and then to see what else I can make or chill with my villagers. So who knows by the time it's all said and done, what that playtime clock will say. So there is my top 10 games that I have played on the Switch. Some interesting ones, as well as some surprising ones. And of course, there's a few that I expect others to have on their most played list too. Speaking of top 10 lists, make sure to share yours in the comments down below. I want to see them, see if there's any surprises. You can easily check by going to all software on your Switch and sorting by playtime. And of course, booting up the game to see the hours played under your profile. If you're looking for some other nice lists from this channel to check out, I'll have a few that you can check out at the end of this video. If you like the video, make sure to click that thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber, then make sure to hit that subscribe and bell buttons so you never miss a single video on the channel. That's all I have for today. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.